very special friend of mine, the Emir of Kuwait. And we've uh, had a long relationship, and especially over the last year and a half. Things have worked out very well between our countries. We practice uh, large-scale trade together, investment together, and also, I think very importantly, terrorism and the fight against terrorism. And uh, Kuwait has been a great partner. And uh, we especially respect the Emir. He is something uh, that uh, really very special. He's very special in the region, highly respected by everybody. And we appreciate your friendship. I have to say that Kuwait has made tremendous investments in the United States. And uh, they're buying a lot of equipment and a lot of military equipment in particular, which we encourage. That's jobs for the United States. Nobody makes jets, fighters, and uh, all of the different uh, components better than the United States. We're way advanced over anybody. And that advancement has really been enhanced over the last short period of time. Uh, we've given them great incentive. But we appreciate the big purchases that you've been making. And frankly, we're working very hard to bring some stability into the Middle East. Uh, Yemen is a tragic situation when you look. There's so many tragic areas in the Middle East. It's a very hard — it's a very hard thing. It's a very complex uh, jigsaw puzzle. But we're making big strides. Uh, Iran is a very much different place from when I first took office. Iran is in turmoil right now. They're in total turmoil. When I took office, it was just a question of how long until they took over the entire Middle East. Now they are just worrying about their own survival as a country. We'll see what happens with Iran, whether they want to talk or not. That's up to them, not up to me. I will uh, always be available, but it doesn't matter one way or the other. We'll see what happens. But Iran is a much different place than when I took over the presidency. I can say that for a lot of countries around the world. The United States is stronger now than ever before. We have the highest stock market that we've ever had. Uh, if you invested in the stock market, on average, we're up over 45 percent on the various markets. Uh, you have to be quite happy about that. But I view it differently. I view it as jobs. I view it as a strong economy. I view it as record-setting unemployment. We have unemployment that are at the lowest levels that we've ever had, and in particular with certain groups, African-American, Asian, Hispanic. They're the lowest levels in the history of our country. So. We've been doing very well, and we appreciate the big investments and the confidence that you have in the United States. Thank you very much.